wills recorded on voicemail or text message could be deemed legally binding by a judge thanks to new proposals from the Law Commission. It says it's the first step in updating the Victorian law unchanged since 1837 and could pave the way for the introduction of electronic wills. It wants it to be easier for a court to decide when a person's intentions were clear. With us is Jane Whitfield, Chair of the Wills and Equity Committee at the Law Society. Jane, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. OK, it's a very old law, but what's wrong with it? Why isn't it still fit for purpose? Well, it's, as you said, it's 180 years old, so it needs to be modernised. It needs to be clearer than it could be. And some of the things that set out how you make a will and what makes it valid really need to be brought up to date. It's in very old language, as you can imagine, Victorian language, it talks about insane delusions and things that poison your affections. And so the Law Commission wants people to look at what should make a will valid. And sometimes there are some harmless errors. There's a case recently where a husband and wife signed each other's will by mistake, and that made the wills completely void. So one of the things they're su suggesting is that there should be a dispensing power to allow harmless mistakes to go through and allow the wills to be valid even if they don't fulfil the formalities properly. So to what extent are those complexities to blame for people not bothering to make a will at all? How big a problem is that? It is a quite a big problem. Still only 60% of people make a will at all. So again, a part of the driving force behind these proposed reforms is to make things easier to encourage people to make wills and to make sure that testamentary freedom is preserved. Why should anybody make a will? When you've gone, does it really matter if you don't really care what happens to your, <laughs> your assets? I think for the comfort of the, the family and friends that you leave, leave behind, there are a set of rules that apply if you don't make a will and you can see your estate going off in a completely different direction. And also families are more complex now, so there are people who live together who aren't married, there are people who have been married before and have children from previous relationships and those rules don't include those more complex situations and you can only do that through making a will. You also can't leave gifts to charity if you don't make a will because the rules don't allow that to happen. What sort of safeguards, though, would be necessary if you're trying to bring up such an, an old law screaming up to date into 2017 to, to put it online and to take advantage of things like voicemail and text messages? There's a lot of challenges ahead, mm. I think, to get electronic and digital wills in, into the frame. One of the important things is for people who are already vulnerable. So we need to make sure that there's no undue influence coming to bear, that people are signing the wills that they want and there isn't anything that's coming to bear on them against their will. Also the storage of wills, if you make a will digitally and you store it, if a young person is making a will it may not need to be looked at again for another 40 or 50 years and if the electronic storage is then out of date or obsolete it may not be able to be retrieved so there's quite a few challenges to look at. How might these changes though enable people who may be frail and not in a position to sort of go to a, a, a solicitor's office necessarily and change their will right at the end of their life when they may think, actually, I've, I need to update this, it needs to be more relevant. I think that's where the, the, the electronic, the voicemails, the text, I think that's where they re really will be able to be used and that's one area we need to look at very carefully. If the only thing you can do is to phone somebody or to send a text, then I, I think that should be something that a judge could look at if a particular asset or uh, a gift wanted to be made and this was something that the judge could consider whereas at the moment it just wouldn't be valid so I think that could be something that could add to the argument for making a will in a particular way. Jane Whitfield from the Wills and Equity Committee of the Law Society thank you very much.